Now then, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. I'm trying to grow a silverwood sapling. And uh, as, as you can see by my cursor, look, I did an upgrade. I did a cool upgrade thing. I did a, uh, I did an upgrade. Where, how, how do I get it? How do I get it off? I've got a scholar's lens on there. I made myself a scholar's lens and I've been around just wandering about. And it literally scans everything for you. It's so awesome. It's cool. I like this scholar's lens. Uh, we're going to kick off today by making that grow, hopefully. I've set up this uh, this infusion altar with the recipe I need to make a hoe of growth. An order shard, an entropy shard, a thormic hoe in the middle, a great wood log and a diamond... And a few little bits with negligible in uh, instability. Uh, and I've, I've just spent a couple of hours. Let me, let me fly. I've just spent a couple of hours gathering all of the things that I need. And I've got a few other processes that I've set up because I wanted to make these few things ready. So without further ado, let's get this on. Because I've been waiting about 30 minutes just to do this infusion. Because I wanted to start recording first. I love the graphics on these things. Check it. It pulls all of the things in that it needs and then it pulls bits and pieces and the graphics are so awesome. For Minecraft, these graphics are amazing me every time I watch it in Fusion. But look at that. We have success. We have a hoe of growth. Okay, so first things first, scan the hoe of growth. Oh, 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 yeah, loads of research points, awesome, I'm going to be unlocking all sorts of stuff, uh, now we can right click a silverwood sapling, and this used to work, oh, it still works, awesome, <laughs> one click with a, uh, with a hoe of growth, one right click, and we've got all the silverwoods, and this one's even got a node inside it, awesome, can scan the silverwood leaves as well while I'm here. Yes, awesome. Okay, so we've got a node, another node. We've just grown our own node. Uh, let's see. I, I want to try and get silverwood saplings as well. I just got another sapling. That's awesome. So at least we've got the one back. Uh, as you know, we made a couple the other day. So I've got a couple spare still. But I kind of wanted to make sure that I got one off every silverwood I grow. I'm going to need the silver wood itself, and I want to take the node as well. Now it's grown a node, I want to take the node. And I'm not sure if I can take a node from a silver wood as such. It used to be that you could break it, and I don't really want to break it. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not 100% sure I can take a node from a silver wood. Uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway, uh, but first off we're going to get the silver wood itself. So we can make a silverwood wand. Right, there we go. So all that's left is the one block that's got a node in it. And that node's not a bad node. Uh, it's a pure fading node. Uh, not too bad. Oh, I just, uh, I just got all the scanning from it. Very nice. Okay. And we got our silverwood back and we've got loads of silverwood logs, which is awesome. Okay, so... Uh, the next thing I want to do is make a silver wood wand so that I can go and claim nodes. Uh, but there's another little thing that I've been working on as well. Getting ready for all this. Uh, we've got nothing in there at the minute. Good, good. I put an import bus uh, for Essentia onto the Alembic. And I used to have all the, um, all the tanks just coming in from around here. And it would have to fill it all up. Now it all goes straight into the applied energistic system and sits there. Which is awesome. Uh, oh, actually, that's that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to put the entropy shards in there. Stop flying. And there we go. That's the only thing about flying is the ladders. The ladders kill you. Right, let's put that in there. Now all of the Essentia should go straight in to the AE system. Gotta love it. I oh, You've gotta love it. I really, really like it. I've added... Two more chests. This chest currently hasn't started filling, but I made two while I was at it because I knew I'd need a lot. These things only hold, uh, what is it, 12 
12 types of Essentia stored inside them. So I've got all of this Essentia building up right now. Uh, Ignis, Ordo, and Terra. I need to get a, a supply of everything. So I've got Aqua. I want some more Ignis. So what's this setup as? Exporting Terra right now. Okay, I've got Terra upstairs. That's why I've left Terra off. Let's get up here. Wait. And up. Thank you. So I can take these ones back now. Another thing I can do is start building this tree up a little bit more. Uh, but I think I might go for a bit more of the the creation of automation within the Thorncraft first. <whistles> what was that? Hey! Hey you! How you doing? And what were you doing? And where did you spawn up there? You spawned on this log, didn't you? You spawned on this one little log. The one place in the world that you're not allowed to spawn and you managed to find it. Because I left it there. Okay. Right. So, we got a few bits and pieces that I want to use. So, we've got Herbert I want to get rid of. Uh, put that there. We've got Aqua, Meto I want to get rid of. Uh, Ignis I want to get. And Terra I want to get. Okay. So what I've been doing is putting things back into the applied energistic system, like like that. Uh, that one also needs to go. Just putting it through an import bus, and that's importing it into these various places. So the herb is now getting imported into that cell. Awesome. Uh, I don't think I've got any primals in here. No, I haven't. Okay, that's good. That's now empty. It empties pretty quick as well. I'm quite pleased with how quickly it empties. Uh, terror there. Let's take the terror. Okay, so output. You have to give it what you want to output and then put a jar on it and it will fill the jar up with whatever it can. So there's a full jar of terror now as well. And this is, uh, this is kind of what I've been doing at the moment until I can do things differently. Uh, we get this and put it on there then. And that empties it out. And when you put an empty one in there, you can select what you want and it will take a sample, eight of it. And then I can put that vial on there. That gives that then instructions on what I want to output. And then I can pop that on there. I can even put that back in. So it empties it back into that to give me everything I've got of Ignis all in one jar, which is pretty cool. Uh, except I've got an Ignis jar there already. Okay, let's well let's put that Ignis jar there. That would absorb that back in, and that should flow out onto this jar. Awesome, 64 Ignis in there now. Good, good. So we got we need a bit of Aqua just to finish that one off. Let's take that off now. Uh, we've got some. We've got eight Aqua, and I'm short eight Aqua. Okay, well. That's something that we can easily rectify. Uh, let's output there. This is the kind of stuff that I've been doing for the last couple of hours. Just just messing with this system. It's not automated e nearly enough at the minute to warrant all of this. But this is the way around I'm having to do it at the minute. And did I put one on the back? Yes, I did. I am prepped up for all five of those. So we've got five different types in there. And it's the five types of Primal Essentia that are not you are not allowed where did you come from i bet they've broken that piece of glowstone again i reckon they keep breaking it from inside the trap because they can reach it and even though they're not right next to it they can break it and then they can start spawning on the spot that's what i think that's going on there all right and then we can put some of this in and that can be turned into a balance shard and that will automatically make the balance shard two of each type that isn't there uh yeah you've got you've got that why didn't that want to work straight away what was up with you nothing's wrong with you good okay so i'll just make all of these into balance shards i haven't made a hungry chest yet to eat them all up i need a hungry chest and an import bus or something like that i might just tie it into an interface 
But this is one of the things that I want to tidy up during the next few days. Uh, or at least the day before I put the world upload. Uh, the world download available for download. I want to do that first. There we go. And then that clears that out. Okay, so now I've got some balanced shards. Awesome. And all of these warded jars with the primal aspects in, they can, uh, they can go away. But I'll probably store them back in here because I take them out as I need them in that method I've just been showing you. And where is that? That's in there. So I can put that back in there now. There we go. So I'll just keep doing that to whenever I need the things for infusing. Until we get to the next stage, at least. Until we get to the next stage. The next stage is a very important stage, but we've got to get to it first. Um, I need to smelt this. How about we just make a furnace? Uh, I've already got a furnace there. How about that? And I'll just take some coal. And we've got lots of coal. We've got lots of coal, actually. I'll take an actual coal. Why not? And, uh, well, I'll just plug it there. That'll do. Put that there. I haven't scanned a furnace yet, because I haven't had a vanilla furnace in the house. Scan it then. Come on. There we go. Thank you. And we're going to put some balance shards in there. I'm going to take five balance shards and smelt five balance shards up. Because that should give me the Salis Munda. Mundus? Salis Mundus? I think that's what it's called. Salis Mundus. Yeah, this stuff. So that's giving me that stuff. Okay. Um, right. So artificing. I, I need the wand, actually. I need to make the silverwood wand, which is a balance shard and one of each shard with a little bit of everything. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. And a bit of precantatio as well. So I should be able to get that made quickly enough. Okay. This should be all set up. I've placed them all around the same as I've got in here as well. So the top end balance shard, then those two there, then these around here with that. Yeah. And I've got all of my different types of Accenture in there. And it's only a moder in moderate instability. So I should be able to hit this now and it will do the job. Whoa. Sort of broke. That broke. There, that goes on. Okay. You're not missing anything, are you? Okay, you're getting everything. That's good. Looks like everything's still in place and intact. It's done it again. It does not like having that fire shard on there, does it? Keep that fire shard on you. Oh, and then it went and blasted that one as well. Air shard. Okay. This is being a pain in the butt, this one. I haven't been doing this before. I was taking the shards. Oh, what, it just blasted the air shard. Where's the air shard gone? Give me the air shard. Give me the... Well, it's water shard, even. That order shard, there. Put the order shard in there. Okay. And the air shard there. Take it. Take it all. Yes! Yes! It knocked a few shards off here, there, and everywhere. But eventually, we got there without too much mess. Yes. So now we've got a silver wood rod. Awesome. Okay, so next up, I want to put some uh, Thormic wand caps on. Inert Thormic wand caps. So in order to do this... The Thormic one caps are here. We made the one caps like this with the little nuggets of wand. And now I've got to use these and an inner cap to sort it out. So I need six of these Salis Mundus with, yeah, two inert caps. And these two, Potentia and Arum. So I've got to get this now sorted out with a moderate instability as well. Which is why I wanted so many of these done. I think I'm going to need to do a few more of those. I'm going to get everything I need together. I'm going to smelt up these other four balance shards as well. So I've got spares. And I will be right back. Alrighty. Okay. So I have need six of this Aram. Aram, even. And I need 12 of this Potentia. 
Just made that up. Just got these ready. I need three of these Mundus and one of those each. So I've got six of these just in case. And I've got double the amount that I need for those things. So in theory, this should go well. Let's see. Start drawing it all in. Taking the potential. That's good. Doesn't knocked anything about just yet. That's good. Lots and lots of crafting through Thorncraft. You gotta love this crafting process, isn't you? Look at it. It's taking it all and looks like it's done. Yes. Okay. So now I take that one back. That is now a charged Thormium one cap. I've got to do the same again for another go. Uh, let's put one there, one there, and one round here. Give it another little tappy and make sure that that's got everything in it. Yeah, that's it. And plenty in there. Charlie, good. Awesome. Okay. Uh oh, it just knocked that off, didn't it? Another one on there quickly. Thank you. It's got all that. It's done it. Yes. Did knock one off that time, though. Okay, so now I've got two of the charged Thormium 1 caps and a Silverwood rod. I should... Uh, Silverwood... What? Yeah, Silverwood rod. I was thinking then, have I done it wrong? Have I done it wrong? What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? And then I should be able to just select these and make them together. Uh, it needs a 56 charge. I've only got 50 in there. How am I going to get 56? Dang it. Okay, so it needs it needs a lot to put it together. Let's put it that way. Uh, it doesn't say in there. And it doesn't say in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Greatwood Wand is 50 of each. Uh, okay, so can I get a little bit more out of these? I think these are all 50 of each as well, though, aren't they? Ironwood, Blaze, Reed. Let's look at the Blaze one because I've got a quest for that anyway. So have a look. Blaze Wood is the same uh, same storage as potentially that. What makes it superior is the level of Ingus. Blaze Wood has one core has a slightly greater storage potential than Great Wood cores, which makes it superior. Okay. Slightly greater storage potential. Okay, so if I make that one now, then I should be able to complete the quest and also set that out. Uh, oh, we did a balance shard thing. Cool. I get the reward of a mixed crystal shard. Awesome. And I've done the passive scanning, so I get a couple of warded jars and a luminate lens. Very good. And now we're going to go with this blazing rod. Uh, aha! These store 75 of each. That's where I need to be. So I can make this with 56 of each. I need to make the 75 of each first. Okay. Well, that is just part of the, the game, I guess. That's just part of the thing that we've got to do. So let's see about making this then. So that's the wrong book to be looking in. The other book is here. Let's have a look. We needed a balance shard and a fire shard to with a blaze rod. Infusion with a few bits here. Prankantatio and Bestia. I think I've got some Bestia already in. Uh, I've got Prankantatio. And yes, I've got some Bestia. Okay, and how much do I need? Six Bestia. Okay, I should be able to get this set up and I'll be back. Okay, let's do this. Um, I just found out something else that's cool as well, but we'll test that out in a minute. Um, I've been doing things the basic way of filling, uh, putting these jars back into the AE system. But I just found a much quicker way of doing it that I don't need to use the import bus quite so much. So I'll show you that in a sec. Let's just get this going first. This looks like it's all been done stable. Yeah, good, good. I bought some spares just in case. Uh, I only need one of these though one blazing rod and I'm not sure about the one caps I'm not sure what I need one cap wise uh, but check this out right 
I can go into one of these chests and just plop the whole jar there and it'll empty the whole jar out for me which is awesome because I was sitting there with it on an import bus doing it but now I thought this was just for these little files but no you can use the whole warded jar to throw stuff in as well which is awesome for cleaning up your warded jars emptying them all out pretty awesome okay and let's throw those away so now I need to make some wand caps for those and I don't want to be too over the top with it because I literally only need this for one use. So what have I got? Silver? Have I have I even learnt silver yet? I don't think I've learnt silver yet. Uh, I could do gold, I should think. Can I make gold yet? Mm, have I got not enough energy in that wand? I've got everything I need in these yet. Yeah, I could take two gold wand caps. Why not? And see if that will work on there. Yes, it will. Capacity 75. Awesome. Okay. So that blazing wand has got a capacity of 75. It's not full at all, even in the slightest. So I'm going to have to spend a little bit. Of, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time just trying to get out of my doors. Uh, I'm going to go and spend some time over at the mob farm. Killing all the mobs. And... Uh, swap that round like that take a few loads of the mobs to fill this wand up so that we can get going it should actually be charging up already look uh yeah it's already charging ignis awesome so it's automatically charging its own ignis because it's made of a blaze rod which is cool uh all right i'll be back when i've uh, filled this wand up oh strange secrets whispered to me Ooh. I got a research point for nothing though. That's good. Hey. Okay. I think we're full enough to make it work. Yeah, 71. 71 air is just enough, isn't it? We only needed like 56 or something of it. So let's go in here and grab this stuff back out. Oh man, the amount of crafting and fusion stuff that we've been doing today. I hope your head's hurt. I've been running backwards and forwards all day for it. Look at this. Thormium. Bossed. Silverwood. Wand. Capacity. 100. Awesome. Alright, so now I've got to fill all of my wands up again. Because they're all all over the place. And then I can go and start moving some nodes around. I could use the Blood Magic Transposer. I know. Or the Teleposer. I know. I know. I know. But I want to use the Thorncraft version for those people who've never seen it in Thorncraft before. So I can show my viewers. Uh, I'll probably get a Teleposer and show my viewers of that as well soon enough. For those of you that know how to do it already, bear in mind I'm showing other people as well. So I will be back in a bit once I've got these wands all charged up and uh, we can go and claim a node in the nether. Alrighty, let's go and find that node. So it was down here somewhere. Now I can fly. It feels completely different to how I was doing it before. And uh, I'm killing some imps as well. As you can see, there's not much uh, in the way of mobs around. Uh, this is virtually full, which is very good. Um, but yeah, there's there's no real sign of other mobs around. There's just imps everywhere. But if I log out and log back in, I'd get a load of mobs again, wouldn't I? Uh, this away. As you can see, this is where I had the battle with the wither boss the other day. Uh, I've cleared that out and moved that. You'll find that in the world download when you go and have a look at the world download. Uh, what was that down here? Yeah, I came down this way. My torch line follows around this way. Follows down here. And, ah, oh yeah, there's a node. There we go. All right, so, this node is out in the lava. It's uh, an aura node, normal. It's got four primal aspects, which is pretty nice. However, it's on lava. Now, I don't know if you know, but there's a, a thing about water that messes up lava. But you can't use water in the nether. You can, however, use witch water in the nether. Which, I don't know if people know that. 
yeah, so I can now break these up like this. I don't think... Uh, actually, let's do it this way, just to be safe. I don't think that witch water turns into uh, another block when it does that. So I should be able to take this one out here. And very carefully, because of the node and all, I can, uh, I can take the blocks out from around it. Now, obviously, this is right on lava level. That's generally where they like to spawn, right down on lava level. So, I've got to dig away the obsidian from underneath it and replace that with glass. Which uh, may take a little bit of time. But, it can be done. Don't you worry. Can be done. So, I've got to do a little jar around it, basically. It's like a jar. So, a 3x3 three three underneath it. Then build the walls up around it. And then go from there. So, let me just set that up and I'll be right back. Okay. So, once you've got your jar of glass all the way around your node, you put your slabs on the top. And then you hit it with a wand. And I think the wand's got to have at least 75 vis in it. So, pop. And then it becomes a node in a jar. And as you can see, I uh, I also made sure that I used the witch water on the lava below. Now I should be able to break it, pick it up, and now it's my node. It's in exactly the same state of repair as it was the last we looked at it. Now I'm going to get back up here. I've got to go hunting for some more of these as well. But every time I use this, my wand runs really, really low. So I've got to go and recharge my wand before I can grab it. Which is probably why the Teleposer from Blood Magic is such a good idea. Because it doesn't cost you 75 viz every time you look at it. Uh, every time you have a go at it, should I say. Uh, up here and this way. I hate travelling in the nether. I always find myself getting lost. Yeah, I see. I've done it the wrong way. I'm supposed to go this way. Ah, yeah. There's my torch line. I left myself a little torch trail, look. And that's, that's as good as it gets. Look, let, let me just show you this before I go. All right, options, difficulty, normal. Right, I will save, quit, relog, and relog. And now you've got pigmen, and you've got the sound of gas, and all sorts going on around. It's just something about the nether. It needs a little restart for me to get mobs in it properly again. Uh, well, I didn't mind that while I was doing the little experiment there. That's not too bad. I, all of this has changed around a little bit. I've brought the wither thing over here. And I've got the withers here now. So I can just give them a quick smack in. And that's the, then getting my uh, wands recharged as well. My wand will recharge while it's here. That's awesome. Right. Let's go and take this back. You can see all this in the world download. Don't forget, it's world download day. I think I've said that before, partially. I think I may have said something about world download day this episode at some point. What are you doing again? Those gits, man. i got all sorts going on. They're taking out all sorts of bits and pieces in here. Oh, my days. All right, I'm going to have to have a good look at the setup around here again. There must be something, a dark spot down here. It looks pretty dark down here, doesn't it? And I know they've taken this, this again. All right, all right, well, never mind. We, we can deal with that later. I get to put another node away up here. And that's, uh, I think I've shown you guys before. I've shown you how it works. I'm going to put it over the opposite corner, this one, though. Uh, so we were one, two blocks up. Uh, yeah, two blocks up there. Is it that in the corner? It's not quite that in the corner. But that's fine. That'll do just there for me. Okay, and then we uh, just give it a tap with a wand and away it goes. We have that node right there. Okay, so thank you very much for watching another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Uh, for some of you, you may have seen all that before and it bored you to tears. Well, I'm sorry. It had to be done. This is what I was doing this episode. This is what I'm playing around with today. 
I will be messing around with some more cool stuff next week. We'll get into a little bit more advanced anything and everything next week. I may have to start bees as well because, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a quest line that we've got to get started on. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you very much for all your likes. Thank you so much for all your comments. I do try and read them all and answer most of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and goodbye.